So, like I said, I've got my hands on the Windows 8 Developers Preview and I am super excited to take you through it, whatever I've kind of figured out about it. So right here, I'm gonna take you to the Metro UI. As you can see, it's that live tile sort of view, which is really nice and quite like their phones right now. As you can see, the live tile view, the photos are switching over here. So if you've got a Windows 8 tablet, what you can actually do is you can just use your fingers and scroll across. But it also works with the mouse, so I can just scroll back and forth like that and it works completely. So what I'm going to do is show you uh, the new way of getting to Task Manager. What you used to have to do is press Control Alt Delete. So you can see what used to happen. You used to get this screen up where you'd have to go down and then select Task Manager and then you get into that. So uh, now instead what you just need to do is you need to press Control Shift and Escape and it takes you directly to the Task Manager. So what you can see here are the things that are running. What I really liked about this is is that it actually has a lot more detail to it. So if we click on more detail, you can see exactly here how much CPU percentage, memory, disk network, each application that you have going on, how much it's using. And you've got background processes in here as well. Word processes, what's going on. I, I think the amount of detail is just fabulous here. So now if you want to uh, kill any of these apps, all you need to do is click on the app and hit delete and that'll kill the app. So very, very simple now. So here in Task Manager, you actually have Startup and under Startup, you have the various different programs that start up as soon as you boot your computer. You have the ability here to actually enable or disable it. So I can just disable that, which is a lot easier than Windows 7 in which you needed a third party app to do the same. Uh, this I found incredibly helpful and useful here. A really interesting thing I want to show you is if you open an application, so I've opened up the people app. If I wanted to kill this application, what would I do? Normally I would try to hit escape. Okay, that didn't work. I would try to right click and right click, I just get feedback or new, so that's not working either. If you kind of put your mouse on the right side, you should get the charms. You know, if I try to go to the charms, I go here and I don't have anything in settings. I don't have the ability to kill this app. So after a bit of playing around, what I found is what they did with Windows 8 is made it incredibly easy. All you need to do is click and drag that down. So that temporarily kills the application. In time, uh, over a period of time, Windows sees that you're not using that app, then it'll kill it completely. Right now though, it's just been temporarily disabled. I found that feature really cool. It's just, it's just fun to do. You know, you just throw it down and it's gone. So I found it really fun and people who have touch screen panels will find it even more fun because all you really have to do is touch and drag it down. So I, because I'm using a mouse right here, I just have to drag it down like that. So the fact that there's no uh, shutdown button initially will have you worried and you're just kind of trying to find where it is. Um, after some playing around, I realized that it's actually in settings and over here I've got the power sleep shutdown restart button. Now I found that rather weird because powering has nothing to do with settings and changing settings, but I guess after a little while you will get used to it. So now with this new start menu on the Metro UI, in case you want to find apps that you don't really see here, they have this lovely new tool. Previously in Windows 7 and all previous incarnations, you'd have to go down with your mouse and click on the start menu and that would open up a little bar in which you would start typing whatever you want. So say I'm looking for my control panel. I'm in the Metro UI and I can't find my control panel anywhere over here. I find a lot of things like the disk cleanup, computer management, but not my control panel. So I go down to um, the charms and I open up settings to try to find it. Unfortunately, I can't see the control panel here either. So let's do Windows D to go to the desktop. Uh, that's a little shortcut there. And if I look over here on this left side over here, you have your multitasking pane. Something I haven't showed you before is that's a multitasking pane, but you can't really obviously see control panel. And if I come over to the charms end over here and I click on settings, that's actually where I'm gonna be able to find control panel. So that's one way to do it. Now let me show you another way to do it. So if I open up my Metro UI, I right click and I go into all apps. 
Here's the other place where I can find um, my control panel, which you'll see under Windows uh, System is my control panel over here. And if I get out of here and you're in your Metro UI, you can actually just start typing control panel. There we go. So my control panel actually shows up right here. So this search feature is something that I really love because it makes it so much easier than what it was before and it's great typing without having to do anything else. So now if I wanted to copy stuff over, what I wanted to show you is the detail that this actually goes into. So I've uh, copied and I'm going to put this onto my desktop. So I just go right click paste. And you can actually see over here the amount copied, the percentage completed, and really gives you a lot of options. You can pause it, you can stop it. It tells you a lot of information, which I find a definite upgrade uh, to the previous Windows 7. So um, for folder and search options, now it's a little change that I wanted to let you guys know about. Initially, or originally you just had to go to file and there was just something over here that would allow you to do the folder and search options, but it's not there anymore. Instead, you have to click on this little arrow and you go into details and from details you see options and you change folder and search options is what you have. So you can uh, open, view, search, uh, you know, show hidden files and folders and things like that. So that's somewhere where they've uh, embedded that little function now. You know, for the multitasking, if you have a touch panel, what you can actually do is just swipe across uh, from the left to the right and you can get the different uh, applications that are running. Obviously right now, because I'm using a mouse, the experience is a little bit different. So for the mouse users, what they've actually done is they've made it quite nice where you just keep clicking on the top left corner to get uh, your different applications up. So I'm actually in something that I wanna show you here. I'll show you how to get to this. In fact, your PC settings, what you do is you go to your charm menu, go to settings and go to more PC settings. Over here, you have a lot of options to personalize your lock screen, your start screen, your, uh, you know, I like the purple view, so I'm gonna kinda keep it at that. And uh, you have your account picture. You can choose that webcam browse. You have a lot of different options here, which is great. You have your notifications and you can get your push, uh, push notifications over here as well your search options you have your history a lot a lot of customization and personalization in this which is actually quite quite lovely and uh, I like it a lot now you can obviously you have your wireless you can turn it on off you have an airplane mode right built in to uh, the settings over here so um, if, if you go into your general settings over here, obviously time, app switching, etc. you've got, you also have refresh your PC without affecting your files. So that means if your PC isn't running well, you can refresh it without losing your photos, music and videos and other personal files. Or you can choose to reset your PC and start over. So if you want to recycle your PC, start over, you can reset it and remove everything. So that option is also pretty useful. So that was a lot of the customizable settings that you can uh, do over here. So the next thing I want to show you is the Windows App Store and the way you can get here, say you're on your desktop or you're anywhere within the Office uh, platform or the Windows platform, all you do is you press your Windows button, obviously you get your Metro UI up here and you'll see a tile for the Windows App Store. So you just click on that tile and what you have is the store. So you have certain things that are on Spotlight right now, All Stars, new releases, top paid. So of course I can scroll across here. I've got my game section. I've got my social section, entertainment, photos, and they've got your free apps up at the top and they've highlighted those, which is very helpful. Music and video, sports, books, references, news and weather, food and dining, lifestyle. This is actually really nice, the food and dining. So you've got Zomato, lifestyle, shopping, travel, productivity, a whole bunch of different options. It's really comprehensive and uh, you can actually do a lot with this window app store. And I really love that you have all of this just at a touch of your fingertips. So that Windows App Store was really comprehensive and I've just shown you the tip of the iceberg. I'm sure you want to go in and delve into it yourself. So now I'm actually going to show you a little game that comes along with Windows 8. It kind of gets addictive. It's called Cut the Rope. So uh, let's try to go to your main menu. It's pretty easy. There's a little frog and you have to feed the frog. 
okay? You feed the frog the different candy and the, what you do is by cutting the rope, you drop the candy into the frog's mouth. So it's really quite simple. You just slide across to cut the rope and try to get as many stars as possible. So I'm going to do just that and boom, and that went straight into his mouth. It's quite fun. So if I go to my next level, I'm just going to cut that. Goes down. I got the other one. And I have to do this carefully so I don't cut the other rope and go straight into the frog's mouth. So like that, it's actually a really fun game. It gets kind of addictive. Uh, you know, you can keep playing that. <gasps> oh crap. Okay, so this is already a really popular game on iOS and Android platforms. It's gaining a lot of momentum. It's actually really fun to play. So I actually really like this Windows 8 platform. I think it's amazing, really next generation. I love how you can switch and swish through the screens and the menus, or you can scroll across if you're using a mouse. I think it's actually very intuitive, though I know a lot of people hate this platform because I've read so on blogs, but in my opinion, it is the way to go. Next generation.